bottom here you've got two sets of vacuum release units and two sets of head release units. The vacuum release units are what you'll be normally the point about, i.e. the pump. So once you pump that, there's a, a preloaded knife in there, that will spring, cut the rope, which will release, release the raft. If at a point you are pumping and the raft isn't releasing, there's a lot of got knives. So in an emergency situation, if it's not to go in with the pump, come up, get the knife out and just cut both leaves. Uh, then it's going to raft. Um, along here you've got a weak link. This is just for information really. This is what allows you to pull the raft into the side of the ship without it, without it starting to inflate. Once you start winching it into the side of the ship, once it's in position, that weak link will snap, which will then allow the raft to inflate, which then pulls this line, which is your firing line. If you start winching in and that snaps and the raft doesn't deploy, you can deploy the chute, cut these open, lift the lid off, and pull this by hand. It should never happen, it's just an emergency procedure. So then, once you've got that in the position, the raft's inflated, you'll then deploy your chute, which will go down a bit. Once that's done, your first man will go down. Once he's down, you get your second person to lower the rope for number two raft. So this one, once he has it, has a hold of it, give a thumbs up, you'll then pump your number two pump, which is the coil this second raft. They'll pull it into the side of the raft, pull your rope, which is connected to your firing line in the side here, and then it will start to inflate. After it's inflated, I'll show you when we're down there, we've got two connections, which will connect that into the side of the system raft. If the vessel was to go down then, um, you'll have four rafts floating up. So your uh, hydro release units will then release the knife, will release all the rafts. You've got weak links, which will then raft will start to float up. It'll snap that weak link, raft will inflate, and then you've got another weak link at the other side of the rope, which will then snap away and the raft will float free. Your weak link on this side so it always has to be over the winch. This is what's going to deploy your raft. It'll pull tight, snap that weak link, this will pull your firing line. Once the raft is inflated, the pressure gets stronger. It'll then snap this, and that's what your life raft will release free from. The same thing here, and each one has got your weak links. So, just pull this off. You've got a directional rope here, so you put it right clockwise three times. On the fourth one, it'll go over your lip, and then on the fifth one, you just put it through your lock. That's now ready to start winching. The winch only goes yeah. in one direction, yeah. but you can turn your handle both ways. You've just got a little catch there. Mm -hmm. Turn that. This end. It's just faster and slower speeds. So if it starts to get too tight, you can't turn it that way, just turn it the other way. And it'll be a lower torque. So say you'll keep on winching that. This rope will be going round. And then you'll get a red mark on the rope. Once you see that red mark, that's your indication to throw that raft. If you keep on winching, you risk mm -hmm. inflating the raft in the cradle. If you see that red mark, then you'll pump number one raft. It'll fall. When that falls, your rope's going to go a bit loose. So you can take it off your lock and hold it by hand. And you just start pulling it in by hand until it gets tight again. Once it gets too tight to pull it in by hand, just do the same as before. Do your lock and carry on winching. So I'll be moving the raft into the side of the ship. It'll start to get tight and then you'll feel the weak link on that side snap. Keep on winching, the raft's going to start to inflate. As it inflates again, your rope's going to go slack again. Just keep on winching and it'll just pull the raft into the side of the ship. I'll show you when it's deployed. We've got a ring on the raft. You want to get that ring as close to the ring on the ship as you can. And that'll just ensure that the raft's not going to move away from the side of the ship. Just remove your cover. Lines, that's what's going to open your door. Once the door is fully open, then if the door is a bit stiff to open, we've got a bolt hook in here. If the door doesn't open, once you release them blue lines, put your bolt hook through and just push it open. But sometimes over age and get a bit sticky or anything. 
once the door is fully open then, you grab this line, the door up behind you, and hold on to the one hand. One hand, then one hand, just push your metal frame all the way out and lower it under control. That'll then lower onto the raft. Once that's down, you've got a secured line, so about halfway down your chute, you've got a leg that'll flip out. Pull this tight and that'll pull the center of the chute into the side of the ship. And then you're ready for your first person to go down. First person to go down, you'll take this bag and a boat hook. In here, you've got two ropes that you can then connect the raft under or the chute under the raft. Just stick them on and I'll show you down there you've got the two points you can tie it down to. It's really optional. With these uh, chutes you can just fill it every cell. It's not one person down at a time. Everyone can go one after another. The more people you have in it, the weight of everyone's gonna keep the chute nice and straight anyway. So yeah. yeah any, if anyone's injured or got any disabilities, this you can just help them down the chute. So you'll unhook this, put that round their waist. One person holds them up here, takes the weight. Another one person can go in first and take their legs, and the two of them can just help them run down. There's your red markers on the bike.
Okay, go. bumaba dito sa MES shot nandito kami sa loob ng shot tayo mabagal si tatay ito yung panibagong bayaan pagbaba sa bandong ship sila sa loob <laughs> yan ito yung loob ng life craft ganito sya kalaki yan yung isang life craft ikinoconnect pa Bali, dalawang left prop connected Ay. Oh, you're really heavy, man Meron pa Ah, nag-slide talaga Ah, that's Alex Ah, that's the proper way Slide Ah, 
And look now, it's a very flat pond here, okay? Imagine with a little bit of sea, a little bit of few waves, okay? It's not going to be that nice, is it? You know, it's very hard. So this is why we've got to remember how we do this, and we're practicing now because, because we could have to use this in a real emergency, okay? This is what it's for, all right? So this is what, just a little bit of practice so we understand how it looks like, what it is, and how difficult it would be. Good. Dito na natatapos yung aming training. Sama mo naman ako dyan. Sama mo kami. Next department. Sama mo kami. 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 S